everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline and today is my TBR for June. So I have three whole TBR videos coming for you guys this month. It's so crazy because I'm going to be doing just this, like today's video is just my main TBR. So I have a couple books that I need to get read this month, mostly the Net Galley reads from my Net Galley jar. Um, but then I'm also participating in two other readathons this month, which, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try and read so many books this month because I didn't do very well in May, which you'll see in a couple days, but I'm trying to still get a couple books in there to like hit a couple different goals. But for June, I'm gonna be reading literally like the most books I think I've ever read in my life. So the first readathon that I'm going to be doing in June is the Buzzwordathon that's hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala. This is from, I forget exactly the dates, but I will pop it up here and I will leave a link down below to her announcement video so that way you guys can participate. The actual word is going to be you. So I'm going to be reading a whole bunch of books with the word you on them. And a bunch of them I think are going to be thrillers. I actually have my TBR a pile ready for it. I have to pick up a couple more at the library and then that video will come to you guys very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And then the second readathon that I'm going to be doing in June is Romanceathon, which is the readathon that I'm hosting with my BFF. Gabby from Gabby Reads. Like, I love that girl so much. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. And it's gonna be super fun. So please check out both of our announcement videos. I will have them linked down below as well. I already have all my books picked out for it. Cannot wait for that TBR video, which again, will be coming very shortly. But for now, let's get into the actual TBR for the rest of June because I have about a week or two, I think, of reading before those actual readathons start. I think it might be like a week and a half. Um, so I have a couple books that I actually want to get done. So first, let me pick out of my Net Galley jar. So if you don't know, um, NetGalley is like a, a website that um, book bloggers and readers and stuff actually, um, you can like request ARCs. They have some read nows so that way you don't even have to request them. Um, and so these are books that aren't even like published yet and they want you to read and review them. So that way it kind of gets the word out. You can hashtag it all over social media, get the word out, like how great the book is. And then that way when the book is actually published, like it helps the actual publisher and the authors get word around. And so I actually have a couple read nows and a couple, I think I got approved for two books um, and they're all in here. Whoops, I almost spilled it. They're all in here. And uh, I try and read three a month, like absolutely try and read three of them a month um, because you want your ratio of how many books you have to how many you gave like feedback to to be about 80%. And so I really need to like make sure that I read the books that I download and not just download books and you know don't read them so let's pick out three the first one is the bug jar and I will look that up so the bug jar is by Ava Black and it's about a makeup sales girl Samantha who has a toxic affair with a wealthy and powerful state representative representative named Richard who gets sadistic pleasure toying with her already confused mind. So it's a thriller. Sounds pretty crazy. Actually, my friend Kat um, said that I would really like it and she had recommended it. And so when it was on NetGalley, that's why I had um, downloaded it. So that's the first book. Now, I have some uh, like really good romance ones or like contemporary ones in here. Good. I'm glad I really wanted this one. Lost in Me. That's one that I literally just downloaded and it sounds amazing. Lost in Me by Lexi Ryan. The last thing I remember is having drinks at Brady's and trying to avoid eye contact with my lifelong crush, the gorgeous, unattainable Maximilian. They tell me that that was a year ago, but I have no memories of anything since then. What I do have is this ring on my finger that Max says he gave me and this much thinner body I've dreamed of most of my life. Aside from a case of retrograde amnesia, everything seems almost perfect. 
but the deeper I immerse myself into this new world of mine, planning a wedding to a man I don't remember dating, attempting to run a business I don't remember starting, the clearer it becomes that nothing is as it seems. Do I have the life I've always wanted or is it a facade propped up by secrets I don't even know I have? I need answers before I marry Max and the only person who seems to have them is the angry, tatted, sexiest sin rocker Nate Crane and Nate wants me for himself. So it's like a romance, but then it also has that weird like amnesia part. So it's kind of had some like, I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds really, really good. I downloaded it off of NetGalley. It was a read now and I'm super excited to read it this month. All right, one more from NetGalley. The Friend Zone. Yes, I wanted to read that one too. Okay, so The Friend Zone is also sounds like an amazing book that I'm going to love and it's like pretty popular right now it seems like everyone is like you know trying to get it can't wait it's by Abby Jimenez I guess is how you say it Kristen Peterson doesn't do drama, will fight to the death for her friends, and has no room in her life for guys who just don't get her. She's also keeping a big secret, facing a medically necessary procedure that will make it impossible for her to have children. Planning her best friend's wedding is bittersweet for Kristen, especially when she meets the best man, Josh. He's funny, sexy, never offended by her mile-wide streak of sarcasm, and always one chicken enchilada ahead of her hangry. Even her dog, Stuntman Mike, adores him. The only catch? Josh wants a big family someday. Kristen Kristen knows he'd be better off with someone else, but as their attraction grows, it's harder and harder to keep him at arm's length. I just really think that that's going to be a cute, like, I think it's a contemporary romance, but I'm just super excited. Those are all great books from my neck galley jar. Yay! All right, so the other books that I have to read in June is Recursion by Blake Crouch. This is an ARC that I got. This doesn't come out. Oh, it comes out in June, June 2019. So I think Gabby and I are going to be doing a buddy read for this because she also will be getting her copy in June. So I'm super excited about this one. I read his first book, Dark Matter, and it's one of my favorite books of all time. It's like sci-fi thriller is what he uh, actually writes. And it says, what if someone could rewrite your entire entire life? My son has been erased. Those are the last words the woman tells Barry before she leaps from the Manhattan rooftop. Deeply unnerved, Barry begins to investigate her death, only to learn that this wasn't an isolated case. All across, all across the country, people are waking up to lives different from the ones they fell asleep to. Are they suffering from false memory syndrome, a mysterious new disease that affects people with vivid memories of a life they never lived? Or is something far more sinister behind the fracturing of reality all around him? And there's like more on the back, but like that sounds so, so good. Cannot wait to read it. I hope it's really good. Then the other book that I'm going to read, I think this is the only other one that I have on my list, um, but I thought a nonfiction book would be good. Actually, no, I have one more that I'm going to read for Bible study, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the Essential Oils Diet. This is um, just lose weight and transform your health with the power of essential oils and bioactive foods. Um, I just, you know, wanted to see what this is about. I am a big fan of essential oils. I use them all the time. So I thought that this book was going to be an interesting read. Um, so I have that one. And then I also have a book called Anchored that I'm reading for my Bible study in June. Um, it deals with infertility and pregnancy loss, miscarriages, which is something that um, I deal with. And so I'm going to be uh, reading that and doing like a little study guide and stuff with it. That is all for my tiny part of June TBR, but stay tuned. I will have the Buzzwordathon TBR and the Romanceathon TBR separate videos, and those will be coming out fairly shortly, so keep your eye out. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in another video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>